Are you excited for Ultimate Edition? Stormy, are you excited for Ultimate Edition? It's the new season of Setup Wars, you know. It's season four. What's happening guys, I'm TechSource. Welcome to season four of Setup Wars. We're kicking off the new season with an Ultimate Edition. So we're gonna take a look at some juicy high-end setups. So as always, you know what to do. Make sure to grab your toilet paper if there's any left. And if you guys wanna participate on the show, make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let the Setup Wars begin. Before we begin the video, Stormy and I want to give a huge thanks to Wix for sponsoring today's video. In this day and age of social media, it's now more important than ever to represent yourself digitally. Whether it's a website to represent your business or an online portfolio to expand your reach. Having a professional website will help you stand apart from the competition. Whatever the reason is, Wix can make it happen. The best part about it is that you don't need to know anything about coding to create your website. If my three month old puppy can do it, so can you. You can either start everything from scratch or choose from their many awesome templates and work from that. Wix gives you all the tools to design and build your very own website. Everything is drag and drop. There is no coding required. It took me only 15 minutes to build this website and this is coming from someone who can't even tie his shoes. And just for my subscribers, the first 50 new users that click the link down below and use the code TS20 will get a 20% discount off the premium plan. Kicking off the show, we have Adriel from Manila in the Philippines and his interesting compact hybrid gaming and productivity setup. He is actually an architect and this is the setup he uses for architecture, design and gaming. To start off, we have a 27 inch gaming monitor mounted to the Cruzo Minimalist Z desk. I've actually never seen a desk mount quite like this before where both of the arms are hooked up to the same neck piece and oddly enough, it actually works really well with this setup with the other arm holding up the Microsoft Surface Book 2. You know, there's something about the monochrome color scheme of this setup that is quite fascinating to me. It's almost as if I'm looking at a modern art piece. It definitely stands out more compared to the other flashy RGB setups we usually see on the show. It's very refreshing to see if I'm being honest. For peripherals, Adriel kept it simple with a Cooler Master CK530 keyboard and a Logitech G Pro wireless mouse. I love that he grouped up the cables from the mouse pad, keyboard, and the speaker using a few cable clips to keep the wire path straight into the back of the desk. Very nice. For gaming, he has both a PC and a console. In the middle is a custom painted Xbox One S, and of course you can't ignore the massive PC he has on the desk. It's packing the Intel Core i7 8700H and the RTX 2080 Founders Edition graphics card. I'm kind of surprised there's only 16 gigs of RAM in here, considering he does a lot of design and architecture work. For audio, he's using the JBL speakers for music and the Logitech G Pro headset hanging from the side of the case for gaming. Taking a look at the cable management, we can see lots of Velcro straps being used along with a few cable sleeves to hide the wires. And finally, a cable box underneath the desk to store the power strips. Nicely done. Adriel's color scheme might seem very dull and lifeless for a lot of people, but for him it's an easy switch to color by swapping the wallpaper and adding a bit of RGB from the LED strips and the lamps on the desk. You know, my original critique for this setup was that the giant PC case seems out of place on that tiny desk. But the more time I spent looking at it, the less it bothered me. Simply because he did such a great job keeping everything spaced out evenly. An awesome hybrid setup to kick off the new season. Thank you, Adriel, for entering. Our next contestant is from a remote island just south of Sicily, Italy, called Malta. You know, with everything that's happening in the world right now, that's probably the best place to be, to be honest. So this is Brandon's custom built setup that he uses for gaming, watching movies, and the occasional editing. We have a massive custom made desk with black carbon fiber accents that he mounted against the wall. And above that, we have a few monitors mounted against the wall. The main PC gaming setup has a 49 inch super ultra wide monitor from Samsung right under a 27 inch display from Acer. But check this out guys, in order to minimize the bezels between both monitors, he actually flipped the Acer monitor upside down so that the chin is towards the top. That is actually pretty clever. I mean, technically it is a triple monitor setup because he's using a tablet as the third monitor to display the hardware info of his PC. Pretty cool. 
The other monitor is also from Acer. It's a 27 inch display with a 165 Hz refresh rate and that's hooked up to his racing setup which also uses his HTC Vive VR headset. If it was a regular racing setup, I would have personally used the 49 inch ultrawide instead, but since he has an HTC Vive, it doesn't really matter what size the monitor is. He also has a projector setup right behind him, as well as a 65 inch 4K TV from Samsung for watching movies. So in order to switch between each setup conveniently, Brandon went with wireless peripherals, the Logitech G915 keyboard and the G903 mouse, which he uses for both of the setups. For audio, he's using the Audio-Technica M50Xs for editing and movies, while the Logitech G935s are mostly for gaming. However, he does have a set of Logitech Z906 surround sound speakers as well. Two of the speakers are actually mounted towards the top. Cables are managed perfectly thanks to the custom raceway he built underneath the desk, and I also love the wall outlets he added in the walls for convenience. And finally, the monster PC powering both setups is a retro-themed custom build rocking a 9900K with an EVGA RTX 2080 Ti. It's a shame that it has to be hidden underneath a desk. To be honest, I was expecting to see it mounted on a wall or even sitting on a wall shelf somewhere in your room. But nonetheless, I'm really loving this man cave that you built in here. It just feels like a really cool place to chill and be quarantined in. Thanks for entering. Coming in at number three is Bruno from Germany and his insane, over-the-top, ridiculous, high-end, I'm running out of words to put here, just jaw-dropping, custom Resident Evil themed setup. I mean, sure, it looks insane at first, but wait till you see what this guy has done to his setup. First off, this is Bruno's second time on the show. He was originally on episode 99 back in April 2017 with a pretty decent dual monitor setup and a water-cooled system. But after a few weeks, the episode went live, Bruno started to create his new setup that you see here, which took him about 15 months to finish. He's calling it the Modular Hybrid Game Desk, and he even included a full PDF file on how he went about designing and building it from the very beginning. Okay, let's take a closer look at the setup, starting with the displays. So we have three monitors mounted on a custom backboard, with the middle being an ultrawide from Acer, and then we have a 49-inch LG TV up top as an overhead. On that custom backboard, he also mounted a soundbar and a couple of wall shelves holding up Star Wars mini drones. And then above that, we got some RGB hexagon panels. All of these have been added with symmetry in mind, as you can clearly see. The desk, which was custom built, is actually separated into different modules, and it has a glass top, which can be lifted up. The left side has a water-cooled PS4 Pro built in, while the right side holds the main water-cooled PC. But we'll get to those in a bit. In the center, we have the Drevo Blademaster Pro keyboard and a Logitech G903 mouse, both of which are wireless, which makes sense on a glass top. Now, there are also two key cards on that desk. I want you guys to remember that because they play an important role in this setup. Other than the soundbar, he also has two massive speakers sandwiching the desk and a pair of Sennheiser Game Zero headphones that he uses for gaming, which he keeps underneath the desk. He also stores his VR controllers under here with a built-in power strip that opens up by pressing the white button. On top of that, he added two LED strips underneath the desk to light up the area so it's easier to see at night. I mean, this guy has thought of everything. You won't be able to find a single cable visible because the desk was also built around cable management, using the massive backboard that he built to channel all the wires behind it. He also built a hidden compartment right underneath the main display where he can store charging cables when he's not using them. The cables for his keyboard and mouse are also in here since he doesn't like gaming wirelessly. Okay, remember those key cards from earlier? Well, one of them is used to turn on his PC simply by bringing the card over the ID scanner that he built inside his desk. The PC, of course, is water-cooled with a Resident Evil theme and he's stuck with the green coolant to mimic the T-Virus. Very clever. Also, all the drawers on that module open up by pressing the buttons located on the side of the desk. Super convenient. Now you might ask yourself, what is the wall-mounted PC for then, if he already has one built inside the desk? Well, he actually has that hooked up to the top display, and he uses that system separately from the water cool system inside the desk. And it got a huge makeover since he submitted the pictures for Setup Wars. He flushed the system and poured in fresh pink coolant and extra mods done to it to improve the overall aesthetics of the build. Like custom made covers for the PSU cables, a custom Cyberpunk GPU backplate, and a dope custom LED logo right above the reservoir, which is also integrated with the rest of the lighting of the PC. Okay, so back to the desk. On the left side is where the console setup is. He took apart his PS4 Pro, he painted the motherboard housing and water cooled it while sticking with the T-Virus theme once again. I also love how he put the optical drive closer to the side of the desk 
That way you can insert the disc from the outside. Very clever. Now to open the drawers on this side, the key card is also required, but with an additional secret pin code. Why the extra security for this side, you might ask? Well, it's because in one of the drawers is the T-Virus sample and the antivirus. There's also a Samurai Edge soft air pistol, 20th anniversary of Biohazard to go along with the theme. One of the things I absolutely love about this setup is how it can mutate. Changing up the wallpapers, the LED colors, and the built-in center display inside the desk can easily transform the setup into practically any theme that Bruno wants, just by talking to Alexa. Hey Alexa, change the setup's theme to Cyberpunk. Okay Ed, coming right up. Hey Alexa, change the setup's theme to Tron. Anything you say Ed, here's Tron. I don't think there's really an explanation needed for this. Bruno, congratulations on receiving the 26th seal of approval. Phenomenal work on this setup, honestly. Next level designing and modding. And I think we can all agree that this setup has made some huge improvements from your previous one. So if you're watching this video, toss an email to setupwars at gmail.com to claim your one of a kind plaque. Absolutely amazing work. Thank you for entering. Next up is Christian from Boston and his epic streaming and editing setup. So we have dual 27 inch monitors mounted against the wall filled with 3D art panels, similar to Ryan's setup on episode 194. The desk he's using consists of two backhand tabletops from Ikea that he stitched together with a couple of Alex Jor units as support and a LifeX beam going across the side of the table, which is actually the first time I've seen on the show. For peripherals, he's rocking the Ducky 1 2 Mini with custom keycaps and a custom coiled cable paired with the G Wolves mouse. You know, as a streamer, he's gotta be on top of his game and it's pretty obvious based on the gear that he knows what he's doing. He's got the Go XLR mixer with an Elgato Stream Deck. However, I can't seem to find his webcam anywhere in the setup, which leads me to believe that the camera he's using to take these pictures is the actual camera for streaming. And you can tell he's serious about it because he even has lighting. A lot of streamers don't care about proper lighting, so I gotta give Christian some points for that. For audio, he's using the Logitech G Pro X headset and a Rode Procaster Broadcast Dynamic Microphone. Christian isn't messing around either. He's got dual PCs as well. The streaming rig is a softline water-cooled build with the Ryzen 9 3900X, which is a 12th core processor with an RTX 2080 Ti inside the Lian Lee case, while the gaming PC is a sick white on black build featuring the 8700K and another 2080 Ti inside the iBuyPower Snowblind case. Pretty impressive. I don't know what it is about streamer setups, but most of them are kind of messy to be honest. We always decline about 50% of streamer setups because of that same reason. So it's great to see that Christian did an awesome job keeping his setup clean. And he even put some effort on the cable management. A very dope streaming setup. You guys should definitely check out his Twitch channel and tell him that Texor sent you if you stop by. Thank you Christian for entering and good luck on your channel. Last but not least, we have Jonathan from Oregon and his insane dual setup. So the triple display setup is used mainly for competitive gaming and photo editing, while the other setup is used for drawing, photo editing, and casual gaming, either in 4K or with a controller. This is basically just a giant corner desk. It's made out of two carbly countertops with steel table legs in the corner and two Alex drawers for support. So the main setup has three displays with an ultra wide in the middle, all mounted against the wall. And then below that, we got the mass drop control keyboard with custom keycaps and cables and the new Razer Viper Ultimate Wireless Mouse. Now the other setup has a 43-inch Samsung TV paired with a drying tablet, and for peripherals, we got the Anpro 2, again with some custom keycaps and cables, along with the Cooler Master MM710 gaming mouse. Now to hide the cables, John actually drilled a hole underneath the mouse pad and ran the wires through the desk and into the custom PC, which by the way is equipped with a 7700K and an EVGA GTX 1080 Ti. A pretty beast PC for just casual gaming, if you ask me. However, the PC powering the main setup is even beefier, with a 9900K and an RTX 2080 Ti. So for audio, he's got a pair of clip speakers mounted against the wall, which appears to be the main audio source for the main setup, while the Corsair Void Pros are used for gaming. Cables are managed beautifully underneath the desk with the use of raceways and cable clips. I couldn't be more proud, especially the cables for the speakers, which seems to be channeled through the wall. And speaking of the wall, I am absolutely blown away by the hexagon wall decor that Jonathan has handmade with his wife. So these are acoustic panels that they cut out of wood and they painted them with the same color tones as the wall. But the cool thing about these 
is that they use three different thicknesses of wood to give it a 3D effect. And on top of that, they even attached 48 feet of RGB strips around the borders to make them stand out. You know, having the nano leaf panels on the other wall kind of gives it a nice separation and it feels like two completely different setups. I love the dedication to the color scheme, how clean he kept the setup with the unique art decor, and the symmetry with the right amount of personality to me is the icing on the cake. Looks like Stormy's asleep, so I can't really scream over here, but um, Jonathan, congrats on receiving the 27th seal of approval. Uh, absolutely stunning setup. Toss an email to setupwords at gmail.com to claim your prize. I'm super excited. I just can't talk loud. Uh, and that wraps up this episode of Setup Boards. As always, make sure you guys vote in the comment section down below on which of these setups was your absolute favorite. If you guys enjoy the show, make sure to backhand that like button and show it who's boss. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys very soon in the next one. In this day and age of social media, it's now more... Ow. In this day and age of social media, it's now more important than ever to...